Welcome to Precalculus with Miss Niesker, and today we're going to talk about an introduction to finding inverses. And in composition of functions, we looked at a pharmaceutical researcher who had a lab manager that caused a few issues, and we're back again. So the lab manager is questioning the pharmaceutical researcher's results and wants to know where she got the numbers for two of her data points. The manager wants to know where and when she recorded the value of 356.3 Kelvin and 358.0 Kelvin. The pharmaceutical researcher has to backtrack since all the data was originally in degrees Fahrenheit. So she had the issue where her thermometers only measured in degrees Fahrenheit and she recorded her data and then she had to convert it from Fahrenheit to Celsius because she knew that conversion and then she had to convert it from Celsius to Kelvin because she knew that conversion and so now she's going to have to backtrack. Well, let's go look at some tables and see how she's going to backtrack. So here's some tables that she had that we were working with and remember we had a bunch of color coding and we would back in the composition of functions. But basically what's happening is she's got 356.3 Kelvin and she's got to backtrack that value. And then she also was asked to double check 358.0 Kelvin and she's got to backtrack that. So we find the one that has the Kelvin in it and we find the value that we're interested in, which is 356.3. So here it is right here. And we're going to backtrack that value. And we see that that is 83.3 degrees Celsius. And then we take that and we backtrack it again until we can find the 83.3, which is this guy. And we end up at 182 degrees Fahrenheit. So now we know what the original temperature was that she recorded. Well, I hope she has good paperwork because I don't know when she recorded that, but she's got to answer that to the lab manager. So we also have 358.0. That looks like okay, but it's actually a zero. <laughs> it's not an okay. Um, it's the Kelvin, so we go to find 358. So I go through and I read the values. There's the 358. And we're going to backtrack. So it ends up being this guy. So that turns into 85.0 degrees Celsius. And again, we come over to the next table. And we're looking for that 85.0. There it is. 85.0. And so that will give us a 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So essentially what we're doing with inverses is we're going backwards through our tables. So with composition of functions, we started with one value, put it into a function machine and got the output value. We took that output and made it as input. And then we got the final output by going through another function. And this time we're basically reversing the process. That's pretty much inverses. Thanks, guys.